What is the mind? Is it ever possible for it to know, to look at itself without the perceiver? It doesn't seem to be so simple as looking at a flower from no centre. What is the mind? Is it ever possible for it to look at itself without the perceiver? It doesn't seem to be so simple as looking at a flower from no centre, without the centre. All right, have you understood the question? Yes? Would you kindly tell me? What is the mind? And what is the brain? Is the brain the mind or the mind is the brain? There's one question. The other is, is it possible for the brain, for thought, to it, to see itself in action, in movement? That's the second question. And is it possible ever to observe, to look, to see, without the perceiver? Right? Those are the three questions involved in this. Are you interested in this? Don't. So don't please me, I'm not. I can get up and go, it won't matter. I hope you are interested in it, or you're concerned about it. Not interest, concern. Is the mind different from the brain? This is a very important question. We have discussed this matter with several scientists and all the rest of it. The brain is the centre for all our nervous responses, right? Is the centre of all action and reaction, response and not response. Is it the centre of fear, of jealousy, hate, violence, sorrow? loneliness, anxiety, depression, sorrow and so on. It is the centre of all movement, right, of time and thought. Right, sirs? And that brain is conditioned by thought by fear, by suffering, and also is conditioned by knowledge. Right? Are you following on? So the brain, which has, a, which has lived on this earth for over three and a half or four million years, not as man, but as an animal, as a, and so on, <coughs> Only within the last million or fifty thousand years it has become a human being, the brain which is contained in the human being now. This is what the scientists say, that this brain has existed 8,000 B.C. and perhaps even longer. So this brain is conditioned, right? That's a fact, conditioned by thought, by time. And it can only act in a limited way, partially. 
right? If you are specialized as an engineer, for the rest of your life you function in a particular direction. If you are interested in money, it is working in that direction, right? If you are a scholar, a pundit, then you will gather information and your brain is stuck in that, in, in that knowledge. So the brain <coughs> is conditioned by experience, by knowledge, by memory, which is thought, and time. This is an obvious fact. Is the mind within the brain? <coughs> you understand my question? Huh? Is the mind within the brain or outside the brain? This I won't go into too long with this because we're not <coughs> we cannot have a dialogue about this. I wish you could. You see, sir, is love within the brain? Answer this question. Is love, compassion, not sympathy or empathy or tenderness and all that? Love may have all that, but the brain is limited, conditioned. And if love is within the brain, love is then conditioned, limited. Right? And is love limited? Is compassion, which is an infinite intelligence, is it within the brain or outside it? No, sir, you don't say yes, please. This is a very serious question. You have got, you have, one has to go into it very, very deeply. And you can only, I mean, the brain can only find out if it is if it is aware of its own limitation and realizing being attentive to that re limitation then it becomes utterly free and therefore quiet then the mind has the possibility of contacting with the brain and not the brain with the mind. I don't know if you understand all this. Are you following a little bit of all this? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Really? <laughs> Do you know what it means, sir? To understand your own way of daily living? and see the truth and the false in your daily living and see how that daily operation, daily existence is conditioned, narrow, limited, based on self-interest. And whether it is possible to be free of that self-interest, and then see what happens, not imagine what might happen. All that requires either you take many years or you capture it at one instant. 
This is a very serious matter, for the mind is an extraordinary thing to go in, if it exists at all, that is, if love exists at all. Love is not conditioned. I can love my wife or my father, mother or my son, and that that perfume can be always there, it's not personal. 